welcome to Joomla. Thank you very much, Mike, for leading the charge as you love to lead. The uh, keynote today is the state of Joomla and what is Joomla doing now? Where is Joomla going? And, 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 and sort of a story we want to tell. And one of the things that Joomla does not necessarily do well is tell our story well. So hopefully I can explain that story to you well and then you'll be able to tell that story and tell other people and grow the community and help educate everyone. What is Joomla? Well, fantastically, everyone here uh, has uh, almost uh, used Joomla for multiple years, but we know it's one of the largest open source content management systems in the world. Joomla has been around for 12 years and even had a little life before then. Joomla is a community-driven project. Everyone is a volunteer. There are no paid workers at Joomla. We're all driven by our, our, our love of the product, our love of the community, and, and our desire to have open and free content in the world. There we go. It's, the laptop is now so far away, it's got to travel by pigeon. Joomla is an award-winning content management system. We've won many awards throughout the years. Uh, we are known for our ease of use and extensibility. Some people will have uh, fun arguments and discussions about that, but really that's a, a goal we seek to achieve every day. And as, as that has grown and built up, we've, uh, we see the proof in, in the pudding. We know how well Joomla has been doing. And it's an open source solution that is freely available to everyone. We like to say free as in uh, speech and free as in beer. Speaking of award winning, we won this year the best free, mess, uh, free CMS award from uh, CMS Critics. Again. <laughs> that means many of you should be clapping for yourselves because you've made this the project that it is. You have volunteered time, you have volunteered sweat, blood, tears, uh, a broken leg or two. Uh, it's, it's, an, it's an immense accomplishment that we as a community have put together. So we should all be very proud of ourselves for making this happen again. Uh, and that's with Joomla 3.8. We uh, will talk about that a little later, a little quicker. But Joomla 3.8 is our latest uh, sort of major version. And it has a ton of features and functionality that help us today and are taking us into the future. Because with Joomla 3.8, we're now able to start thinking about from a developer and technical perspective about what's coming in Joomla 4. Joomla has a well-established code base. We have a very large development team uh, and we have this fun little thing, YOY commits. So that's year over year commits. What that means is when every year we look at how much code and uh, for lack of a better word, stuff is being applied to the project. Everything from language and translations to uh, images and real code, we have all these commits. So w as we have year-over-year -year commits that are increasing, that means there's much more activity going on. So again, it's a growing project. It's a prosperous project. <coughs> Joomla's mostly written in PHP. It's mostly well-documented, and we look to always improve that, and not just in English, across many, many languages. Uh, it's, again, a very old project. Uh, we've you know, been around 12 years, so we, we've uh, been able to build up a, t a ton of communication uh, and documentation to help people tell that story to other coders. <laughs> this is actually my favorite part, it's the Joomla numbers, because it's simple slides with uh, some great facts. Joomla's had over 29,000 commits made by almost 800 uh, contributors uh, and representing a whole bunch of code, so 370,000 plus you know, if we start including other projects like Joomla 4 and uh, Joomla X, you're looking easily at, you know, 400,000, 500,000 lines of code that have been worked on over the years. So it's, it's really an amazing amount of work uh, to create such a successful project. Which, how'd that get in there? Where's George? Uh, all that work, all that work makes people tired. And this is poor George Wilson, one of uh, the, the developers for the Joomla project, who literally is passed out from exhaustion at this year's uh, uh, Joomla J and Beyond. Uh, so we like to pick on him. 
Joomla is used by 6.6% of all the website whose content management systems we know. So of course there are ones that are not detectable, but uh, this is from W3 Techs, and that means that it is 3.2% of all websites. So Joomla runs over 3% of the entire internet, which is an amazing feature, and it is the second largest platform on the internet. Uh, we should all be very proud of that. But one thing has happened. These numbers have gone down. Just a little, just a little bit, but only as a percentage. Our absolute numbers still continue to grow. And, and who is eating away at those numbers? People will immediately think WordPress or Drupal or something. No, everyone is sort of very similar uh, plane there. But we have a much larger fight and that is against proprietary closed source uh, web services, Squarespaces of the world, Weeblies of the world, Wixes of the world. They are, they are locking up content and making systems that prevent us from uh, having a free exchange of speech. So that is sort of the, the, the struggle we have to make sure that people understand that when you use an open source system, preferably when you use open source Joomla, that you are making your content more free, more available, more flexible. And it's a very important point. And what's a really great statistic is 9.3% of all Joomla websites are Italian. Let's give the Italian community a... a Uh, th this was an amazing number to come across. It's, it's, it's such a huge percentage of all Joomla websites out there. Uh, Italy, I think, if I recall, is number three or four in the world for volume of Joomla websites. Uh, it's, it's, your community is amazing for your love of Joomla and for how you practice and utilize it. So I, I'm just gonna keep clapping because it's, it's an amazing feat for the Italian community. You guys are doing something right, so please let us know how you're doing it. <laughs> Some more little fun numbers given the amount of uh, Joomla websites that are out there in the world. There are over 300 uh, Joomla websites uh, created a day. Uh, the use of statistics for these websites. Now this is a great, great number because just even a year ago, uh, the percentage of Joomla 1 point or 1.0 sites or 2.x sites or 3.x sites, the numbers were very different. Uh, the adoption of uh, Joomla 3 has gone up from approximately 49% to now almost 58% uh, just over the last year. So that, that's a great feat that we're making sure we're keeping up to date, migrating, staying secure, flexible. But it does give everyone here an opportunity to realize that 40% of websites still need to be updated. It's a huge opportunity for content creators, designers, uh, developers to take advantage of making sure that everyone is running the latest version of Joomla. So I just want to leave you with that note so you think about the, all those opportunities that exist. Uh, 75 million uh, plus downloads uh, for, um, from downloads.joomla.org. Uh, except this number is old. This number was only in February. So since February 2017, we have 84 million, 85 million, 90, 87 million websites now that have been downloaded from uh, Joomla.org. So we've gone up, what are we talking about, 14 uh, million downloads in just this year. So that's an incredible uh, uh, amount of uh, downloads. So there's, there again, there's a growth in the community and projects. I'm gonna guess that five million of those websites were made in Italy. <laughs> Every two, three, uh, two to three seconds, uh, there's a new download from Joomla.org. Again, fun numbers and stats just to keep you uh, aware of how much traction is going on behind the scenes and how large the community actually is. We have over 7,000 extensions. If anyone wants to throw out the exact number, I had 7,800, but it moves up and down. But a huge extension uh, community uh, at extensions.joomla.org. 68 languages, uh, we're always looking for more. 70, these numbers changed like overnight. <laughs> 74 languages. Approximately 700,000 forum members. And, and that's sort of the Joomla by the numbers. Uh, of course,
course, we're here to talk about Joomla as well some more, so we have Joomla 3. That's what we have today, and it's going great. We see the adoption rates are uh, improving for Joomla 3 from uh, Joomla 1 and Joomla 2. Uh, downloads are growing, uh, not only in a sort of linear fashion, but uh, the speed adoption of Joomla uh, is increasing year over year. Joomla 4 will be coming out next year, which is very, very exciting. It'll be a large shift, but based on the absolute trust and faith we have in our production department, they've said it's gonna be a one-click install. <laughs> no. <laughs> My, Michael, uh, department coordinator, is obviously not listening. <laughs> But it will be a, a, a much uh, improved migration and update process than uh, anyone uh, could have foreseen. So we're, we're very proud of the team that's been putting all this hard work together. There will be improved performance. There will be improved uh, user interface components, uh, media manager. Uh, and you can find out much, much more about it at Joomla 4 top uh, sessions during the conference. One of the key things, though, uh, which I'm sure will be brought up at other sessions, is that Joomla 4 will be PHP 7 based, which is a, a, an amazing thing since it really sets us apart from many other open source projects where we have the opportunity to encourage and promote a, a, a baseline standard that makes us more secure and more uh, performance ready than other, any other open source content management system. Not that you can't run them necessarily on PHP 7, but we're making that as a crux of the position. So that is a great thing from a technology perspective and at the end of the day for your end users to have more secure, uh, faster uh, performing websites. And then the Joomla X project. How many people here actually even know that there's a Joomla X project? Well, that's not bad. So we maybe got 10%. Uh, Joomla X is, is a, a, a team within a production department that works on the future of future of future of Joomla. They are a think tank, a research group, and I encourage you to meet uh, members of the team to find out if, uh, you know, how you can work with them to think about future ideas, future uh, development content paradigms, and, and you know, how that can actually come back into the project. Uh, Joomla X thinks of ideas, some of them trickle down, and it's, it's, a, it's a great, uh, fascinating process of how research and development actually occurs in the Joomla project. Uh, we wouldn't be here at all without our awesome ecosystem. That ecosystem includes a million little checkpoints. So everything from maintenance and support, actually creating the content, designers, every one of these people, and you fall into one of these groups for sure, can tell this story. You're part of the story and you can tell the story uh, from anything from being a sys administrator, or SEO, all of these components of the ecosystem make up Joomla. Click, 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 click. But it's, it can be fragile, it's, it's delicate. It's, you know, think of it in nature. You have to worry about, is it raining? Is it dry? What's going on? Are the plants growing? Are the animals eating? Uh, so it needs to be nurtured to stay, sustain and grow. And we're here today, of course, to learn from each other, but we're also here to help each other grow. For example, we have the Google Summer, uh, Summer of Code. I know some of our uh, GSOC representatives are here. It's a program to help encourage uh, people from around the world uh, to develop new solutions within the Joomla community. Uh, we've been uh, selected a Google Summer of Code member five times? Ten. Ten, excuse me. This is our 10th anniversary of being selected as a Google Summer of Code, which is, I think, one of the longest uh, streaks uh, around for projects. These are some of our students, and I met one yesterday. I know that he's hiding here somewhere, but we do have students. Our GSTOC students are also here. I'm sorry? They're, they're right there, back there. Uh, it's also e even easier and easier to get started uh, with Joomla. We have so many different sort of entry ways into the Joomla project. Of course, Joomla.org, that is the simplest way. Everyone knows it at this point. We have demo.joomla.org. Uh, it's a great opportunity to build a website that you can have sort of forever. Uh, technically runs out after 90 days, but uh, it's a fully fledged Joomla website that you can utilize. We have Joomla.com, sort of that very light uh, first taste of Joomla. It's a very quick way to uh, get a feel for what Joomla can offer. We have uh, downloads.joomla.org as well. Obviously, that's the way to just 
grab it and download it and go and install. <coughs> Training.joomla.org. Uh, this is a relatively new uh, area for getting as much information as possible. Uh, we teamed up with a number of organizations to make the, this happen. I forgot, I should have mentioned that uh, SiteGround is our Joomla.com provider and uh, OS Training is our training.joomla.org provider. So those are two groups that have been uh, inst instrumental in making sure we offer a more and uh, easier ways to get involved with Joomla. Showcase.joomla.org. This is a very important site that probably no one goes to on a regular enough basis. How many people here have actually built a website? Let's, let's see hands. Okay, we, that's a good solid 50%. Keep your hands up, keep your hands up. How many of you have actually gone to showcase.joomla.org? Oh. Boy, that was a quick drop. How many of you have posted your website to showcase.joomla.org? Yeah. This is a great opportunity to show up. Okay, hands can go down now. <laughs> Unless you have a question all the way back there. <laughs> this is a great opportunity to, to show the variety, uh, complexity, uh, and beauty of uh, Joomla websites. Submit your uh, uh, works to showcase.jumon.org. We're missing on a great opportunity to have that exposed to the world. Uh, we have the forum, of course. You can ask away questions. You probably know something that someone uh, has a question to, and you probably have a question that someone else knows the answer to. And both those questions may have already even been answered. Please visit forum.jumon.org uh, for all that communication. It's also easier to get started building your Joomla career. So we already kind of touched on that with the showcase, a perfect opportunity to help get you exposure and uh, pub uh, publicity throughout the world, but there are also other ways. The certification exam, and we're doing it how many days, or just one big day? Uh, well, three, days. three days, so we have three days of the certification exam going on. Well, uh, and for the first time ever in Italian as well, it's our first foreign language certification exam. So we'll have English and Italian certification, uh, and this is a great way to become Joomla certified administrator. And it is a very valuable uh, uh, property to have in your uh, toolbox. Uh, people have already reported uh, success, uh, not only because of the knowledge you receive in the process of being a certified Joomla administrator, but that it had value in just being able to say that you are a certified Joomla administrator. So we encourage you to also look at the certification uh, site. Resources.joomla.org. Okay, all you people who are now thinking about going on the showcase, raise your hands, because now we all know how important the showcase is. There, oh, there, come on, there better be some more. You've got to get your websites on the showcase. Okay, if you're not going to do that because you're shy, you may, maybe there's too many cat photos on the website, at least put your agency, your business, your, your content uh, company into resources.joomla.org. This is, this is a fantastic uh, resource, no pun intended, uh, that only works in English. Um, to get your company and presence out to the community. You can search by specific areas of expertise, by regions. Uh, it's a very easy, free way to get publicity on the Joomla.org site for your uh, business. Extensions.joomla.org. Build them, download them. We know that this is critical to helping your Joomla website be successful. Almost 8,000 extensions. Uh, some of the finest uh, code and product in the world is on the Joomla extensions directory. Please take a look at it. Our user groups. There's just a lot of dots here. Our user groups are fantastic. Uh, they've been growing. Uh, they've been growing in, in areas we probably didn't expect uh, just a few years ago, in, in Africa and Southeast Asia. So it's been a fantastic uh, re response to Joomla in general that people want to get together and talk about it and figure out how to be successful with Joomla. Do have a few challenges. To keep up this growing user base, we need to keep focusing on providing an attractive solution. I think we're doing that, but we need to work together to always push that forward. Joomla 4 is that next evolution, and we're very excited by it. Uh, find ways to help keep and attract new Joomlers. How many of uh, people here are actually involved in any of the community projects directly? So as a member of a team, a sub-team, that's okay. That's a, that's a, Decent number here, so we're looking at probably 25, 30%. There's another 60, 70% uh, of you. Talk to someone here. You, now that you know that there's a, you know, a good 
quarter to the third of the community uh, here is actually touching on the project in some way. It's a great way to reach out and you know, share a story, talk to each other about what you might want to do or you might want to see, and if you need something, you might realize that you can do it yourself, and you can become an, uh, a critical component and part of the Joomla project. And of course, we're continuing because it's an organization, we need to be able to do things like Joomla World Conference and help Jugs and the GSOC program. Uh, one of our goals is, of course, to continue to be attractive to partners, so sponsors, other partnerships, things like that. So yeah, did I mention volunteering for Joomla? We like to call ourselves Joomlers. It's easy, it's, if you can say Joomla, you can say Joomlers. Uh, we are the community, we are the ones that contribute to the project. The easiest and best way is to go to volunteers.joomla.org if you're not here, but since you're here, you could probably reach out and touch a volunteer already. Talk to them, have a conversation, learn what's going on, share the stories. Just to go sort of quickly over uh, what's different from last year's Joomla World Conference, we have a completely new organizational structure. This structure, uh, took years to get together, and we have, I know TJ's not here, but Ken Crowder's here, and he was instrumental in helping facilitate that, so if Ken can stand up wherever he's hiding. There you go. The new organizational structure was built to help focus people's attention. We were a small, uh, very small top level organization. Now we've spread the love, spread the effort, and uh, spread responsibilities around. So we'll just go quickly through the departments. Uh, we have the production, uh, so the board of directors, and I'll just jump straight to production. Up, oh, I know Michael likes to hide. Nice try, uh, Michael Babker, <laughs> uh, department coordinator for production. Uh, yeah, actually, you can stand up so people can actually see you and know how to find you when they have a question. Thank you, Michael. Sorry, oh, yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, Soren Beck Jensen, head of... Uh, Department coordinator for legal and uh, department coordinator for legal and finance. Uh, that group is responsible. So production, I think everyone's aware, is responsible for code. Um, Joomla three, Joomla four, Joomla X, and so on. Uh, Soren uh, and legal and finance are responsible for uh, primarily these days uh, raising capital, making sure the organization is uh, you know running uh, efficiently and effectively. Sandra Deku, head of marketing. So marketing is a big word, and uh, Sandra has big shoulders for that uh, <laughs> part of the team. So it covers everything from social to um, specific marketing campaigns and websites, PR, uh, press releases, things like that. Uh, Rowan. <laughs> and I practiced, practiced, and practiced Rowan, Rowan. <laughs> this event could not have been possible without Rowan and her events team. She's terrible at taking compliments, so we'll just clap quietly for her, all her effort. No, I mean really quietly. <laughs> Peter Martin, uh, I don't think Peter's in here at the moment. Peter's in charge of operations. Operations means making sure the websites stay up and running on time. So that's almost all of the Joomla.org properties, uh, critical to making sure that the project is uh, visible to the rest of the universe. <laughs> Eve Hoppe. Eve is the public coordinator for programs, and programs constitutes things like the uh, JET program and GSOC and uh, the PECON community outreach initiative. So there's a, there are a number of things that, uh, which may not fall anywhere else, and then Eve has to pick up that work. 
and his department and teams. Certification. Certification. That's it. Thank you. And then we have the uh, sort of the uh, official legal uh, representatives of the board um, that are required sort of by law. I am the president. We'll skip that. Uh, Alex Kuchek is vice president. Um, You guys might know, at least some of the community might know who this is. The secretary, <laughs> Luca Mazzo. <laughs> and there would be no Joomla <laughs> without the treasurer who makes sure that we don't all go bankrupt or get sued by the government. Michael Demopoulos. <laughs> oh, you can stand up, come on. <laughs> So uh, this is the Joomla community. This is our story. We, we, we talk about our successes. We talk about our challenges. Uh, this heart in the middle of Joomla was found years ago. And we should always remember that there is a heart uh, to the community. We are all Joomlers. And, and we are uh, proud of what we've been able to accomplish over the last tw uh, 12 years. And we look very much forward to the next 12 years. Just a few last uh, thoughts. It doesn't matter whose ideas, thoughts, or features we end up using. We're a community. And that's the wonderful thing, that the, the conflict of ideas, the difference of ideas often brings about the refinement and betterment of ideas. So that is certainly an aspect that has made Joomla as strong as it is. We do the best, we try to do what's right, and we come back to that heart of Joomla again. Some thoughts to leave while you're here for the next three days. Three is going to be a good number. Three days. Uh, let's call it the, 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 the three by three challenge. Everyone should think of three ideas. Think of three new stories, ideas, and ideas being anything from I have a problem with something or I have a solution for something or uh, have you ever thought of that? Think of three ideas for yourself over the next three days. Get three connections. Find three new people that have nothing to do with anything you've ever touched before and create those connections. Have those conversations. And lastly, three peers. So peers. Who can I work with? Find three different people that you can work with that can maybe help offload your work, help as a external resources, as a resource, or you can help them. Uh, so those should be more of your sort of business community connections as opposed to three connections that really just help you grow in the Joomla community. Be somebody who helps everybody tell the st Joomla story. We have a great story, and we need to spread it and scream it out louder. And it comes to you. Thank you very much. Mila Gazzi.